Uh, earlier this afternoon, I just uh, happened to be out and about, and I uh, was coming back from lunch, making my way back over the bridge, and about maybe 30 feet in front of me, I saw a woman uh, up ahead, and I saw her put her leg up on the rail, and obviously that grabs your attention, and uh, as I, she leg went on the rail, it came back down off the rail, um, the rail's about, I don't know, four and a half feet high maybe, and there was a couple ahead of me, I kind of scurried up a little bit, and uh, I said, what's this lady doing? And right as I said that, I see her, she flips over the rail onto the other side, and uh, I, my instinct was just to go right at her, and uh, I didn't want to scare her, because um, I wasn't sure exactly what was going on, and I just approached her, and I said, hey, uh, what's going on? She said, uh, oh, I just want to get a better look from this side of the rail, and I said, uh, and I just had put, kind of put my arm on her, on her shoulder, and I was like, oh, no, I said, come on, why don't you come back on this side? Um, it's, you know, it's the same view over here, and she said, no, 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 I'm good, and at that point, I knew that um, she wasn't just taking a look at the other side, and uh, at that point, she said, just let me go, it'll be uh, it'll be better off that way. And uh, I said, no, come on, let's, you know, let me buy you lunch. Why don't you come back on this side and uh, we'll talk things over. It'll all work out. And she said, no, no. And I said, come on, please. And at that point, I was able to just get both of our arms around her and uh, hang on and just try to console her and talk to her. And um, at that point, other pedestrians had walked by and I was able to just mouth to one of the gentlemen in the back and thanks to him, just said, call 911. Uh, call 911, and they did. And then uh, another gentleman came up and asked, you know, what he could do. And he just held onto an arm. And uh, the most difficult part was that at times she tried to actually, you know, go off the, the ledge there, and her feet were dangling. So we had to pull her up. And uh, when another gentleman walked by who actually works for the Tampa Bay Rays, we didn't know this at the time. Uh, he asked what he could do, and I said, you know, if you could try to kind of hold her ankles at the bottom through the bottom rail that could help us and uh, he was able to do that and that was a godsend and the police showed up uh, the police boats in the water and there was a helicopter above I'm not sure if that was police related or not ambulance and police officers showed up and uh, eventually we tried to just lift her right away over the rail it was just um, just a bad angle for everybody involved and uh, once they were able to secure her uh, we were able to talk her um, talked her back to help us out, and uh, we got her back on this side, and um, after she came back on this side, I just, you know, I went up to her, because, you know, she said, you'll just forget me after this, and I said, no, I'll never forget.